I'm Soma Cruz, and fuck this castle. I'm just here to fuck somebody's wife. Long dick style. <laughs> Hello, folks. Shin Tiger Curl here, that dude in the straw hat, bringing you yet part five of the Aria of Sorrow playthrough. Uh, for those of you who watched, in my last part, there was a little malfunction with my um, microphone. I was trying to get the new out, but it didn't process well, so I came out really, really quiet. So I'm abandoning that and sticking with this um, with this setup for now. But anyway. Last time, we were exploring the inner quarters, but I died, so I said I was going to explore it off screen as well as do some um, grinding for souls and such. So, anyway, let's take a look at my loadout. I get two new, I get a, got a couple of new souls. Um, let's see. I got an uni, which is like those little grass enemies that I wasn't particularly grinding for them, but I, I have it nonetheless. It just bears landmines to its turf. Uh, let's see, uh, the Kaoma Demon, that guy that, that attacks you through the um, mirror, gives me temporary invincibility. Very useful. I got the Flea Man, hops around madly, and that's for the full soul. These, I finally got the Curlia, the Curly Soul, which tran that, with the, with that, that, that enemy with the four arms and the dark skin that I was trying to get, you know, trying to, get to. This transforms, transforms Soma into a demon that rushes towards enemies. I will not use this until a specific area of the um, map. So, yeah. And finally, we got Ghost Dancer. This is the one I wanted in the chapel area. So I went back there and ground for the um, Ghost Dancer soul. This increases your luck by four. If you're grinding for, for souls, you want this. You're going to need all the, so all the luck you can get because... The um, getting souls or item drops are based entirely around your luck. The higher the luck you have, the better chance that you have for actually getting the item or soul that you want. So I'm equipping that. So anyway, check out the map. As you saw, we uh, I explored the rest of um, the of uh, the um, uh, of um, the inner quarters. So now, also I picked up a new weapon. This is the um, Pandora's Spear. Let me see what that says. This is the Pite of Pitazan. It's a spear that I that I was able to get off a um, one of the uh, uh, Valkyries. It's long reach. It increases my overall attack by uh, 79. And there are a few other weapons I happen to pick up, particularly the Warhammer. As you can see, it buffs it up to a nice beefy 85. But unfortunately. It, like all the other hammers, is slow and very, very inaccurate because the, the hit, the, hold on, let me equip it right quick just to show you. See? It's not very fast, slow, and its hitbox is only the head of the hammer. So unless you have to hit, you have to hit your opponent with the head exactly or else it's not going to count and they're just going to ass rape you. So I'm going to switch that out and go back to my spear. I like my spear. All right. So next up, first up, I'm just going to go downstairs, screw all you people. Alright, I need to find a teleport chamber. I know where I need to go next. It's near the area, it's near the, um, the beginning of the game. Uh, I don't care if I take a few hits, I just want to get out of here. Fifty bucks. I wasn't able to get the Persephone soul, which is a shame because I really wanted it to show it off because it's a really fucking cool um, soul to get. So we're back in the we're back in the dance hall. And we got the Minotaur soul. Strength increased by eight. Thank you. Where are we heading? Need to head back to the teleport room. Specifically all the way back to the um, first area of the game. Let's go back. Alright. It's not that far. Let's kill this Minotauro. Give me some money. So anyway, 
Going over. Alright, it's just across the next room over. Ah. Alright, I'm just going to drop down here. Keep going. I hate you, ghost dancers. Alright, it should be right across here. Ah, soldier. Yeah, you scream and I don't care. Alright. Ah, you bastard. Let go, my ghost. As you can see, uh, thanks to my, I, I did level up twice off screen, so I'm quite beefy right about now. Yep. So let's teleport. We're going back to the entrance. Now remember where we picked up the flying armor soul? That's the place where we want to head to next. Because now that we have the Undine soul, I can now walk on, on the water and get to an area that I previously couldn't get to. Because, well, I couldn't walk on water. Screw all you people. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. I just want to save. You can never save too often. Always save enough. When you're in these type of games, saving saves your life. Oh, God, Skeleton. Oh, we got the skeleton soul. See? Look at all those souls we're getting thanks to the ghost dancer soul. See? Like a ghost dancer quip, so my luck is a little bit better than it was before, so you can see I'm getting souls left and right. Alright. Okay, I want to go down. Blah. And we got another skeleton soul. Alright. Going down. Alright. As much as I enjoy having the Ghost Dancer Soul on, I need to switch out to Undine. So I can walk on the water. Alright. So how are you guys enjoying the um, Let's Play? I know it's not the best or even compared to other ones, but hey, I'm doing the best. It's my first one. But anyway, this is where we need to go next. We went in. We were never able to reach this area because we sunk in the water. But now, thanks to Undine, we can go here. All right, we're going up, and we reach a new area. And what area is it? The Floating Gardens. Yes. And that is, this is a very interesting place where we meet up a new enemy, the Cockatrice. And, and just like the name of the mythos, the cockatrice comes from a myth from a from ancient myth. It is actually some kind of type of bird that can turn you to stone just by staring at you. And level up. And we got red crows. I forgot what souls the red crows use, but. I may grind for them, I don't know. We got save point here, so we're gonna save up. Alright. So this is a good place to grind for the red for the um, dead warrior soul or the red crow soul since there is a save room right here. But I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm heading up. I love this. I, I love this character. Cockatrice. Ah, screw you. Nah, it's not worth it, so... I'm just gonna head up, head down. Ah, screw it. Alright. Now, notice how we're at the very bottom of the castle? Keep that in mind as we keep as we're going along. So, first, let's switch back to the ghost dancer, get our luck back up. Alright, we want to wait for this thing to come down. Get on this platform. 
Okay, we're going up. All right. Take a look. We're down here. And going up. And we have a, we have a, and these are tiny devils. Tiny devils don't really hurt you, but they make it so that you attack continuously when they when they grab onto you, and you have no control over yourself whatsoever when they're when they when they hook onto you. So that is extremely annoying. So anyway, we're gonna go back up. Blag. Okay, we're going to go over here. I'm going to try to fill out our map a little bit. Always do some exploring. You never know what you'll find. Oh, and look at here. Castle Map 3. And as you can see, look at all that shit up there. Yeah, how are we going to get all the way up there, you're going to wonder. How are we going to make it all the way up there? Hmm. Alright. Screw you, imp. Alright, going up. And we're going over. More red crows. More money. And as Proton John stated, this is something I didn't know. Uh, going into this, uh, this is something I didn't, uh, like I said, I didn't know this particular thing going into this, um, but, um, if you, if you attack candles when your H, when your MP meter is full, then it will always drop money, but if it's not full, it will always drop parts, so, it is an interesting thing to know, so anyway, notice something, we're up here now. Yep, that's the thing about the Flowing Garden. They kind of they take you... It's a weird warping lodge here. You go through one area and you'll come out up here. And we have the Devil. Uh, another new enemy. He's dead. And you know what? I did stock up on some potions, so I'm going to use a couple of those just to fill out my life. Up. Get more money. Now there's an easy, there is a very, very easy way to grind up money in this game, but you need a certain set of souls to be able to do it. Alright, we've explored that. Oh, also, this is a good place to grind for the double soul if you want it. Oh, we're gonna leave that alone, move over, and look where we are here. We've got another huge area, right above the castle. And, and you saw that thing that the skull was pulling up? That was a Madrigora. That is actually an enemy and it's a soul you can have. Very useful. A, a very useful um, attack soul that creates an extreme plant. That creates a shockwave that can kill a lot of enemies. Good for kicking, good for kicking ass. Let's go. So anyway, I'm just going to fill out our map here. some money on hand. Oh, and look at that. We got some money up there. Can we get it? Let's go. Always go for the big bag of money. Take that. I love the gold soul. But it's not the particular bullet soul I want right now, but... There's another bullet cell that I want to get. So, okay. Ah. I suck at platforming games. So how are we at? We're at 14 minutes. Ah, he's knocked back. 
the, the bane of any Castlevania player. We got a thousand dollars. Check the map. Alright, there's a little spot left over here. And we cleared that out. Alright, let's move on to the next part. Alright, this area can kill you if you're not prepared. Oh, and we got the Ripper Soul. Stabs enemies with a blood soaked knife. Another useful bullet soul. Alright, we're gonna move down here. And here we have another unique enemy. The Kicker Skeleton. I think this is the only place in the entire game that they appear. It's not a hard soul to grind for. But in case you want to grind, there's a save room here. Alright, we're done here. And we got the kicker skeleton, yes! Kick during a double jump by pressing down an A. This is... That's the kick jump. The kick jump. It's a passive soul, so I don't need to turn it on or off because it's a nice little soul to have with a little bit of more momentum. I'll do it. Now, I'm going to show this off. You see this, this weird black thing here? I can't go anywhere near it. It doesn't hurt, it just I can't... And I just can't go anywhere near it because of this weird black force field. So anyway, there's nothing we can do here. We, have, we can come back to this later at a specific point. So, I'm going to ignore the kick soul, kicker soul right now. Save again. You never know what's going to happen. In that last video you saw, I got my ass handed to me. So anyway, we're going to go. We're going to climb. If you want to grind for the gripper soul and that bird soul, you can go for it. But it's too dangerous because, well, those rippers are, have the agility of a flea man, but they also chunk blades at you. So they're doubly dangerous. All right, we're going to pick up some money. And what's this? Five hundred dollars. Fifty dollars. And we're gonna be able to clean out hammer when we by the time we come back there. So first let's check the map. And we got a uh, of course we got the friggin' disc armor. Fucking fuck nugget. He dies. We gotta go clown. And look at here. He looks familiar. This is the Manacore. The second boss we fought in the game. It is a regular enemy now and will always spawn at this point. So if you want the Manacore Soul, this is the spot that you can grind for it. Alright, we fill out this area of the map. Alright, I think we've reached the last part. And we got a new enemy the Werewolf. Yeah, you Underworld fans must be happy. He's dead. Yep. There are other spots that you can grind with the um for the werewolf soul. So but you can pick this this is a decent spot enough for it. And we got the we got the golden. What oh, you dick nugget? And he died. Alright. We are climbing up. Getting some more money. Oh, we got another big bag of money. That's five hundred dollars. Mm. Love money. Even though I'm broke. <laughs> That's part of the reason why I do this. So anyway. We're moving on. We return back here. Get off me. Alright. 
So anyway, we filled out this part of the map. Now we're moving on that on this way. First, I'm going to do some staging right really quick before I leave this area. There's nothing more we can do here, but there's nothing more we can do in the um in the hanging garden. So first, we're going to say roll on. So how's everybody's Saturday Saturday going? I just came from doing some yard work for my aunt. And we got rained out halfway through, so we couldn't clean it. We couldn't uh, do as much as we wanted to do. But and left me kind of dirty. Shame too. Alrighty. We're back here. So we're going to go back over here. Kick. Fuck you, fish. I don't have time for you. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm, I'm trying to remember where I need to go. Screw you, peeping pie. I don't need your power anyway. You're pa you are a useless monster. You are just a pie. Alright, back in the first boss room. Killing skeletons like it ain't no thing. Killing axe armors like it ain't no thing. Alright. Killing more skeletons like it ain't no thing. Mm. Don't want to fuck with bats because bats suck. Killing fishmen like they, killing mermen like they ain't no thing. All right. All right. You remember this area? This is the first area we went to. There wasn't much we could do in this area, but now we can do something because guess what? We have the Undine's gold. That means we can walk on water. We are getting our Jesus on. Hmm. This music is so calm and soothing. Alright. And we couldn't reach up here before, but now we can. Ah, uh, we got a whole room full of... Got more mermen. And we got a elven robe. Let's equip that and see what that does for us. Oh, our, our attack eat, takes a hit, but our, in, our intellect and our defense go up. But nice. But I'm gonna stick with what I have right now. So let's go down. And we got a tasty meat. Hmm. Alright, there's nothing for us here, so we're just going to go back. Alright, I'm trying to remember where I need to go. Hmm. Alright. I'm kind of... Yeah, it's been a while since I played this, so... I know there's, there's a, somewhere I need to go right now, but... I'm trying to remember how to get there. Um, this might be just a video of me just wandering around aimlessly for a couple of minutes. Ghost dancer, because I want that luck. I think I'm supposed to go to that blanked up spot in the upper right corner. It's supposed to lead me somewhere. Hmm. But so that means I still have some areas left in the um in the garden that I should I should I should not have left the garden too soon. So. 
So it looks like I gotta go back. There for me. There. Screw you, peeping eye. I'm not to help you with you. Alright. So, swap out those hands. Sure. No, wait a Let me go down. Oh, that's right, I can't reach that. I need another I need another specific soul to go through there, so so I can't go down there yet. But I can go back up here. Go up here. And we're back in the hanging garden. Alright. Yep, and the kick and that kick attack does a pretty chunk of hefty amount of damage, but unless you're really, really good with it, I wouldn't recommend using it too much. Come on down, I need you. Going up. I love this music. It's awesome. Alright. Damn it. You need to get up there. Yep, we got up there. Alright, we filled out this area. So I'm going to wait for that elevator to come down. And while I'm here, I might as well kill him. And I got a Gordon Soul. Constantly two strikes 20. Alright. So I can't go over there yet just yet. So I'm going to go back down. First, we're going to recharge. You never know. Going on. Go up. Save. And they're over. Alright. Uh, Alright, come on back down. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Imps. I don't have time for your, sh for your shenanigans. Alright. Alright. Alright, we've explored this area. I know that you have to backtrack for one of these. Okay, I... I I remember, you have to backtrack so you get to that area that you want to get to, so. Like I said, this, this can be quite confusing your first time in. Ah, Magigora, you were off, you were an awesome soul, and I love you. Alright, it's not there. I don't have time for you, Rippers. Alright, we're there, so we're gonna backtrack. Yeah, this is where we need to go. New area. And we got a werewolf. Yeah, that sucker. Oh, 
you want me? Oh, you want some hurt too? And he's dead. Alright, got back up. Remember to fill your map out. came back, more money. Alright, this area is filled out. Tiny ghost. And I'm getting low on health, so... Load up. Alright, we've, we've explored this area, so we're gonna go over. And, okay, this is where we need to go. Look, and welcome to the clock tower. You can't, you can't call yourself a Castlevania aficionado unless you've been to the clock tower. Every Castlevania game needs a clock, hey, has a clock tower. So you know what that means. Reduce the heads and fucked up jumps. But let's go on. Oh, what's this? We got a cutscene. Hey, it's Graham. So we meet again. I'm glad to see you on the scheme. Good to see you too. Uh, I've got something I want to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Someone told me that you are to inherit Dracula's powers. I take it the lady from the church told you that, didn't she? It's not true, is it? The term inherit is incorrect. It's true, then! I was born on the very day Dracula was destroyed. So, in short, that means I am Dracula. It can't be right. You've been so friendly and kind to me. That's because I don't continue you a threat to my mission. But that being said, you have made it this far. I sense a power within you. Do tell me, what kind of power has awoken within you? The power to rule. What? You foolish boy. That's impossible. Huh? I can't remain here any longer. I must get to the throne. Your name is Soma, right? You are wrong, Soma. I will not allow you to rule. Jeez, what was that about? Well, that was certainly interesting. Hmm. So Graham was born on the very day that Dracula was destroyed. Look, good to know. So anyway, this is the clock tower. If you've played any Castlevania games, you know that the clock tower is a bitch and a half. Bad jumps, dangerous knockbacks, and of course, the bane of any Castlevania player. Here they come. They're coming. They're here somewhere. Uh, I don't want to hear the golem. Uh. Medusa heads. These things love to fuck with you. But there is something but there is a good side to being in the clock tower. You wanna know what it is? It's this guy. That is the lightning doll. And the lightning doll is the one of the one of my most not only has one of my most favorite souls to get, but it's one of the souls that you definitely want to get for offensive purposes. Because the, the the lightning doll has the best one of the best, if not the best, bullet souls to get in the entire game. You'll see if I'm able to get it. But first we're gonna save right quick. I know this episode's running long, but you guys enjoy it anyway, so I'm just gonna keep going. Now I'm gonna pass that that one up at the top because there's better places here in the clock tower to grind for the um for the lightning doll solo. Another cutscene. Hello, Soma. Hey, Yoko. I just ran into Graham. Really? Which way did he go? He was in a rush to get to the throne. Just as I thought. There is something important in the throne room. I'm sorry, Yoko. But what's wrong? Who all of a sudden? He's not who I thought he was. He was kind to of me because he thought I was powerless. 
different speed. But his attitude changed suddenly when I told him about my power. Well, in his mind, he thinks that ca everything in his castle is his. So that's the reason. But it's better this way. What is? The fact that he sees you as an enemy means you are now my comrade. Does it? What? You don't want to be on my side? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> it's so much fun to tease you. But this is not the time to be fooling around. Your presence here has thrown Graham into a panic. This is our chance. What sort of chance? Using his cunning mind, he's, a he's been able to evade us up until now. I don't think anyone has ever seen him panic before. I get it. Circumstances right now are making him act this way. That's exactly right. This is an excellent opportunity to trap him. Well, I must be on my way. See you. Hmm. Two cutscenes in the same area. Shit's getting real. So anyway. Alright, we're passing that up. And we got a new bomber armor. Just like the other armors, this one. This one throws bombs instead of rocks or axes or discs or what have you. So anyway, our objective here, climb the clock tower. And now we got happy. Ugh. And now you see why everyone hates the fucking clock tower. Ugh. Now don't worry, at the top of the clock tower there's a save room, so I'm just gonna have to hold out until then. Uh, I'm just gonna dodge him for now. Uh, no. Uh, damn these. Uh, God damn these guys. And we got Valkyrie. Alright, going back up. Go, go! And we got Gargoyles. Gargoyles are a decent enough soul to have. These guys, Gargoyles are another soul that increases your luck. So, if you want to grind for them, by all means, go ahead. Alright. I might grind for their soul off screen because I like their soul. It's good enough for um. And this is a good place to grind for um lightning dolls. So I don't want to try to grind too much, but I really want his soul. All right, what's up here? Yep, this is where we need to go. Alright, we don't want to go through there just yet. That leads us to a place we can't get to yet. You know what, I'm going to spend some time grinding here. Because like I said, I really want this guy's soul. You're gonna, you'll see why when I, when I get it and I use it because it makes life so much easier. Alright. Step, step. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Come on, I want to give me your soul. Give me your soul, you dog piece of shit. I just want your soul. Is that so bad? I just want to kill you and take what's inside of you as for myself and use your power to kill other things. Why can't you just be a good little dog and give me your soul? Give it. Yeah. 
give me so so now if you're wondering why I'm spending so much time grinding these guys I guess that his soul is useful especially considering we have a very very hard box fight coming up and we are coming up on 40 minutes This is gonna take a while. You guys might as well grab yourself something to eat, something to drink, maybe a coke or a root beer. I'm drinking tea because tea is good for um next place. And I had some street tacos. You guys, you guys should really, really try street tacos. There is nothing, there is nothing wrong with getting tacos from um from getting food from food carts. They are perfectly healthy. I don't really know why my parents don't like me getting stuff from there. Like five tacos for five bucks. So, so I'm going to be pretty full up for the rest of the day. And I got a nice, I got two pans of um, Arizona tea. Snowberry tea. I wanted to give it, I wanted to try something different. So, I know not many people watch this Let's Play, but I do it because I enjoy it. It doesn't have to always be about money, I'm like some other YouTubers that will remain somewhat nameless. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was uncalled for. Please forgive me. But yeah, I appreciate any and all you guys watching me play this game very terribly. This is my first Let's Play, so please forgive me. Uh, let me... Wait a minute. No wonder I'm having such a hard time. I didn't have Ghost Dancer equipped. So, first... Tasty Meat. Yeah. He's dead. I don't want to take too much unnecessary damage. And like I said, we got a boss fight coming up. And if you know anything about Castlevania, you know who this boss is going to be. One, two, three, two, two, three. Stop running from me. Come back here. Give me your soul. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, I talked to my friend Mads Leonhardt from the Absolution Network, aka CMU. He, if you're watching this, thank you for allowing me to post my videos of me just being just making a complete fool of myself on your YouTube. I, I cannot thank Mads enough for allowing me on the Absolution Network. And he even suggested I, I do more Let's Plays because he thinks I'm pretty much awesome, I don't know. And his, one of his suggestions for a Let's Play was something like, do something about fighting games. And I'll say right now, I know a lot, I know quite a bit about fighting games and the fighting game community. I'm not that good of a player. I'm passable. I did train with my, with my um, roommate who was... Uh, who was a finalist at EVO a couple of years back. For those of you who don't know, EVO is like the Super Bowl of fighting of fighting games. Pretty much everyone from around the world comes to EVO just to, just to see who is the best at their chosen fighting game. It's a very hype event. Four days of awesome, awesome video game play. And it's hype that you don't won't, won't even believe. Through Major League Gaming, that this, EVO is the one you want to do. But anyway, I can't say that I'm uh, for certain that I'm the best at, a, at, at, this fi at fighting games, so I don't know if me doing Let's Plays is me getting my ass handed to me online by various other guys. If you want to learn how to play fighting games and get and and get some tips on how to get good at them, look up Maximilian Dude, spelled D-O-O-D. 
The guide teaches you how to play fighting games, teaches you the mechanics and the basics on how to how to get how to how to, all the pros do it. You get you do it. And he was right about one thing. There is no secret to being a great fighting game player. It's just practice and repetition, muscle memory. You have to you just find out what works for you. If you want to get good with a character, there's no magic formula or how-to guide. You just play the character, practice the character, then go online and fight a bunch of people. You're going to get your ass handed to you a lot, but you get better, which is what you have to do. And Max Chameleon is a good teacher. Right now, he's focusing more on more combat. He also got a job working for um, Killer Instinct on their story for the second season. And I'm like, wow, he's actually living the dream. He plays video games for a living and he gets paid for it. And check out his live streams on Twitch TV sometime. The guy puts in a lot of work on long hours just to stream and, and it's, it's, it's a and he's an amazing, he's just an amazing guy. Like last week, this guy was, one of his contributors was having a hard time. So this is a guy who usually just donates to Max like $500 a time. Like where does he keep getting all this money from? But, and the guy was having a hard time, so Max went on his stream and just donated $500, $500 to him just to give back to the guy who gave back to him. So we need more people like Max Mead in the in the fighting game community and on YouTube in general. Because you, know, you, you, you meet a lot of people, you, you just meet a lot of people on YouTube who just do it for the money. But Max does it because he loves the, he, he Even though he gets a tremendous amount of money from donations, if he doesn't let it go to his head, he is a humble guy, even though he looks like a cross between Chad Kroger and Nicholas Cage. He is still a humble and generous guy, unlike some other people we, that I won't get into right now. And I leveled up. Uh, I wish I could edit so you wouldn't have to see this, but my editing skills are But at least you got a long ass video. <sighs> this is just ridiculous. <sighs> I'm gonna try up until the 50 minute mark. And then I'm gonna head up to the, um, then I'm gonna head to the save point and I'm gonna end the video here because this is just getting ridiculous. I'm sorry, but I really, really want this guy's soul. And I don't want to bore you with just 20 minutes of me whacking this Facebook careless, weird looking guy. And like I said, I wouldn't bother with it, but his soul is just so good, especially in the next boss fight. You'd be crazy not to get it. Like I, I, I wouldn't. When Proton John it was doing his um is doing his um let's play of this game right now and he was taking suggestions from the fans about what they would want to see. I immediately just said, Hey yo, John, when you get to the clock tower, get the lightning doll soul. It makes things so much better. Get the lightning doll soul. And people were agreeing with me. And I did the same thing on Tim's video. Or Nintendo Capri Sun. I was doing the same on his video, saying, This is the soul that you want to get. This is Lightning Doll Soul. It is just so good to have. So, I'm just gonna. Oh, and. Remember the Great Armor? Yep, he's a regular enemy now. You can grind for his. He's one of the. Probably one of the few places in the entire game that you can grind for his soul. So, it goes down so easy. Alright. Screw you, Harpies. I've wasted enough time. <sighs> God damn it. Come down here. I want to kill you. See, this is what happens.
You know what? Fuck this shit. Uh, where are you? Where, where the hell? Where the hell are you, goddamn? Because I'm tired of these motherfuckers just getting in my way. There you are. Kill my demon. Temporary invisibility, invisibility, bitch. But yeah. And I think I'm going to stop here. I've wasted, uh, and okay. So we've explored the, the flying gardens. We've, like I said, we explored the, the floating gardens. Knocked out a few more areas. Learned that Graham is actually a, quite a bit of an asshole. Ran to Yoko, who teases us. And I just spent the last ten or so minutes wasting your time trying to grind for that lightning doll soul. So, off screen, I'm going to grind for his soul. And next time, I'll show it off and show you how, just how fucking awesome it is. So, if you like what you see, link, comment, subscribe below. Got any questions, comments, or tips? Leave them below, I'll get back to you. You want to support the channel? Just click on an advertisement or two. It takes literally a second out of your day. And if, or else you want to you donate directly, just drop a dollar in the bucket. As you saw, I need more tacos. Also, check out Proton John and the Nintendo Capri Sun Let's Plays of this game. They are probably infinitely more better than mine. And also support the new um, Castlevania um, spiritual sequel. The Kickstarter is still up, even though it's achieved its goal. Still donate something. To, we, I want to see this game get made. So, till next time, it's been Shin Tiger Curl, that dude in the straw hat, saying good day, and I really, really, really want that soul.